actual side of the world. What's up, boys? Hope you guys have been having a good day so far, and let's get right into it. How to quick peek. So, quick peeking in Rainbow Six Siege is something very important that you need to learn in order to climb up in ranks. Quick peeking is mainly used to gather information on who you're fighting. So, I chose this map per personally because a lot of people like to play behind this, which is Cafe. Cafe Bar. A lot of people sit here with Jaeger or ACOG and they try and play above the PQ when you peek here because the only way you can kill them, if that wall is reinforced, the only way you can kill them is if you push up and go here or if you go through that doorway and most people will play this with an ADS or something so typically uh, you want to quick peek something like this like this now, if you're wondering how I'm doing this what you want to do is start out aim straight lean left by clicking your L3 then walk, move to the right and re lean right and then lean back left once you peek but do this very quickly and once do it only once if they see your head, if you know someone's there and they see you, change the level of your peak, quick peek again, and kill them. Because most people at lower ranks typically do not change their reticle depending on where the guy peaked. So if you peek standing up, they're going to expect you to re-peak standing up and they're going to try and pre-fire you or they'll have their reticle there waiting for you to peek again. So if you change your level and re-peak again, you'll get the kill. Another way to quick peek, which is a little bit less safe, but slightly quicker is if you lean to the right and then just peek in quickly like this and you'll get your information that way now you want to do this only if you're just clear roam clearing or something you don't want to do this if you're peeking somewhere you where you know someone is because you will get most likely shot because it's pretty slow because if they have decent reaction time and you just walk across they'll tap you or they'll just pre-fire you and you'll die and make sure you always change your head height if you see someone. Because if you see someone and you repeat, they will most likely have the reticle there. So if you change your head height and then repeat again, you can secure the kill a lot easier and die less. Another way to quick peek is to pre-fire. Basically, what you would want to do is just peek and pre-fire immediately. You can do this on Windows or you can do this if you get a call from your teammate or if you know someone's there. Let's say there's someone that might be through this wall. Just quickly pre-fire and then go back to be safe. Pre-firing is very important in this game because you have tons of ammo. Look, I have 195 extra rounds after this mag. That is plenty of ammo, so you want to use some of it because you're not going to use all the ammo in your rounds just shooting people. So try and pre-fire. Because pre-firing, you can secure a lot of kills by doing that. The final and last way to quick peek is by doing the laziest possible quick peek. It's just doing this, walking. You get the widest visual, but your entire body becomes exposed because once you're here and you're peeking, your leg and your chest and your head are exposed. Now if you peek like this, only your head's exposed. If you peek like this, only your head's exposed. But if you do this, your entire body will be exposed and you'll most likely get shot. I would not recommend doing this unless you have to peek around something very quickly and you don't have time to aim in. I would not recommend doing this that much. Here's an example of what quick peeking is supposed to look like. Okay, so in this clip, I know there's an ash outside on the balcony, so I position myself to where I can quick peek and pre-fire. This is a situation where you would want to quick peek and get the and pre-fire to get the kill. And since I got this kill, we were able to win the round much easier. Ash outside of the Okay, so here's another example of me, not necessarily super quick peeking, but quick peeking enough to the point where I can see his body and then get get a better judgment on how to fight him. Look, stand over here, Hill. Here, stand in that corner. Are they bucking from above? Okay, so in this frame, I saw Buck laying down up on the balk. So, I decided to pull out my pistol, kind of just to piss him off a little bit to get the kill. But I knew I was able to get this kill because I would have a better peek than he did, especially since I knew where he was. And because of that, I was able to get the kill a lot easier. Quick peeking is what gave me this information, and if you do this more, I promise you will secure way more kills. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to leave you all with some gameplay to enjoy. It's a nice little Myoshar clutch while lagging. It's really annoying. But, um... 
If you guys like this content, uh, subscribe, like the video, and check out my socials, Twitch, Insta, Twitter, and Facebook, all at Alarming Plays. And hope you guys have a great day. Hey, also, shout out to Jeremy Sotelo, my favorite gold. Have a good day, guys. I'm defusing, watch me. I can't cover you. Bro, why would you run outside? Because he ended up the Claymore. He put a Claymore on the drone hole. He used Donder. Kill it. Just defuse. Defuse. Bro, who the fuck is the fucking host? I'm so tired of being on shitty servers. Please. Shit pisses me off.